Hi everybody, in this video, I am gonna show you how to get remote PTZ camera controls in Zoom video conferencing. This is an awesome feature of Zoom video conferencing that allows anyone in the world to control your USB connected PTZ optics cameras. Let's dig into it. So first of all, the first thing you need to know is that you do need to have this feature enabled in your Zoom dashboard. And it may be something that your admin needs to enable. Zoom has the ability to give far end, meaning people meeting participants from anywhere in the world, PTZ camera controls. You can see those controls in this little dashboard over here. And this feature will create those PTZ camera controls directly inside the Zoom meeting client. To enable the PTZ camera controls, have your admin go to their dashboard and under the account management section, click account settings. This is where you will find far end camera controls. If you'd like to use this feature, go ahead and enable it by clicking the toggle button. Now, Zoom room, rooms also feature PTZ camera controls. That is done in what is called the in-room use case, right? So in the room where you have your PTZ optics camera, if it's connected to the computer that's running the Zoom room client, you can control the camera in the room. But today we're showing the far end camera controls that are made for meeting participants at the far end of your conference. But as you can see here, this is what that Zoom room iPad looks like. And it gives you those great touchscreen controls for camera pan, tilt and zoom functionality. Now this is super simple to set up. You just plug in a USB connection directly to your computer from your USB connected PTZ optics camera. Con camera. Then you just uh, have the far end request camera control, which is required. And then the far, the far end, the person with the PTZ optics camera connected will need to approve the request for camera control. As you can see right here in the bottom right, this also works for huddle cam HD cameras as well. And then the PTZ controls will appear. Let's go ahead and show them how to do it, Tess. Sounds good. All right, so Tess is going to right click my video. I have a PTZ optics camera plugged in right here. And uh, Tess is gonna go ahead, it's plugged in right here via USB directly to my computer. Um, maybe if I move this a little bit, you can see that USB cable right here is connected in and right here. So just one single USB cable being used for video and control. Now Tess has requested it, so that button pops up. Let's show the Zoom meeting. You can see here, I'm gonna go ahead and approve this. And that gives Tess PTZ camera control. So go ahead, Tess, and control the camera. So you can see Tess is able to control the camera remotely, directly through Zoom. Um, just she's zooming in now a little bit here and uh, go ahead and just pan it around the room and take a look around. So this is great for doctors. This is great for remote presentations. We have churches using this to give worship leaders the ability to control cameras remotely from anywhere in the world. Uh, remote PTZ camera control is not necessarily something that's easy to accomplish. You know, if you don't have something like Zoom, you have to use outside IP addresses or a VPN service. So Zoom makes things easy for controlling PTZ cameras remotely. Thank you so much for showing us that, Tess. Happy to help, very quick and easy. All right, take care. That's it, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We always are creating great videos to teach you how to you better use video communications. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. I'm always happy to answer those questions. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Bye, everybody.